barbecue family. Thank you for tuning in to another episode on our channel. I'm Maddie and this is Kiki and we are Canada's favorite female grill masters. If you're part of our barbecue community and you've seen our videos before, thank you so much for stopping by again. But if you're new here and you haven't seen us before, make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any barbecue fun. Today we are testing the Jealous Devil Blocks Fire Logs. We haven't been paid to test these, we just got them. We're gonna see if they work in our offset smoker. We're gonna be making a potato rosemary pizza, seeing how hot these things get, and see if they can cook this pizza well. Honey, are you ready to do this? I am so ready. Let's go! Oh yeah! The first thing we notice about these blocks is the weight of them. This 12 pack is very, very heavy. It says it weighs 35 pounds on the bottom here. This is a 12 pack. It says the lighting instructions are on the back. It says they're perfect for pizza ovens, grills and smokers, which is what we're gonna be using it in today. Fireplaces and wood stoves, fire pits and campsites. Anywhere you can use firewood, you can use blocks. Made from raw, untreated hardwood, safe for cooking, no additives, fillers. Let's open this up. Ooh. So individually, they're, they're still pretty heavy. This actually looks very similar to a log of wood, but you can tell it's kind of wood little pieces all pressed together. Kind of smells like a donut. No, but seriously, this is very sweet. I smells like I walked into a Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know why. Mmm. I wonder if it's gonna smell like donuts when we're using them. Okay, let's take more of them out and then we'll get to the lighting instructions. Now, I'm not sure if we're supposed to be using one or two of these. We want our offset to get very, very hot since we are gonna be cooking a potato pizza. Okay, here we go. Blocks are extremely dense and can be challenging to light if the instructions are not followed properly. Ooh, let's take that as a warning. We strongly recommend you arrange your blocks as shown below. Okay, so they have it in kind of like a Jenga type fashion here. Okay, let's see how this goes, guys. Okay, so not sure if you guys realize this, but Kiki and I marched to the beat of our own drum, so we decided we are gonna test these in the way that we like to grill. So when we're cooking with our offset smoker, we always start our logs with a chimney of lit charcoal. So we've already started with that here, and what we're gonna do now is what we always do with our logs, because these things are supposed to mimic logs, but they're supposed to be next level. So what we always do is put two logs on to get started, and then let's just see where we are when it comes to our heat, because these things are supposed to burn hot. So let's start with the two, see our temp, take it from there. Now these blocks are supposed to be quicker when it comes to igniting time. So we can already see there that we have some flamage starting. So we're just gonna keep our eye on these and see how long it actually takes to get started. Okay, we're about two minutes in and already I'm feeling super impressed with these. There is lots of flames happening, but you'll notice there's also not a lot of smoke happening, which is a huge, huge difference between these and real logs. Usually when you're lighting logs, you get that blast of smoke, that white, thick smoke. This so far right now, I'm not seeing a whole lot of smoke. What I am smelling is that sweetness off the top that Kiki mentioned. It does smell like donuts a little bit. So normally, when we're grilling with our offset smoker, we let the wood ignite, we let the initial smoke start to take form, and then we get the lid down and let the grill preheat. With this, it's not a lot of smoke, so what we're gonna do is get the lid down and we're gonna get to preheating this grill right now. I cannot believe this. The temperature is at 425 and we only have two logs in there. That has never been done for us in our offset smoker. Normally to get this kind of temperature in our offset smoker, we need at least four logs on there. So already we are absolutely blown away with the temperature difference with these. It keeps rising. It's already past 450. How the heck is this possible with two logs? I don't know, man. I don't know. It made it to 500, everybody. We cannot believe this. With two logs, we're at 500 degrees. That has never been done in this offset smoker. We do need to make mention that in order to properly test this, we decided to blast open both vents. So the vents over here are completely open and our vent over there is also completely open. That means that there's a lot of airflow happening in here and that's how we 
really wanted to test this. That's how you truly test if something gets hot. And oh my goodness, just standing here, it is hot. While our grill preheats, it's time to build our pizza. Now, this is one of our favorite pizzas of all time. It's super simple, super easy to make, and it kind of has like a pierogi vibe to it because it's carb on carb, and let's face it, we all love that. So it starts off with a homemade pizza dough, and you can find the recipe for our favorite pizza dough in the description box below. And we've let this rise, and all we're gonna do is push it into a oiled, cast iron, seasoned cast iron skillet pushing it out as we go to the end, making a little bit of a crust here. The next thing we're gonna add is fresh rosemary. Now we're gonna add this on the direct pizza crust because we don't wanna add it on the top or else it'll just singe and burn right off. So we're gonna tear pieces and add it right to the top of the crust. Rosemary and potatoes is the perfect combination. The next thing we're gonna add is a drizzle of chili oil. It's a little bit spicy, but it provides a beautiful color and a lot of flavor. Now we're gonna add a little dusting of garlic powder. We're not using fresh here because again, we don't want it to burn, we just want that garlicky flavor throughout. Up next goes some shredded mozzarella cheese. Here is the secret to this pizza. This is a can, there are potatoes inside. Now before everybody's like, oh, I'm gonna send comments about potatoes in a can, that's so gross. These are such a secret when it comes to making a potato pizza. If you try to make a potato pizza with fresh potatoes, inevitably they will never cook by the time the, the dough is finished cooking. So these are pre-sliced, they're pre-cooked, they cost about two bucks for the entire can, and they're a fantastic shortcut for the ultimate potato pizza. So we're just gonna press them into the top. You can get fancy here and, and overlap them if you want. We're gonna season the potatoes with salt and pepper. Then we're gonna top it with the remaining cheese to glue it all together. And make sure everything is in there nice and solid. And then the last thing we're gonna do is one last drizzle of this chili oil because we are addicted to this and we like things really spicy. But if you don't, you can omit this drizzle over the top. It also just makes it look really nice. Get this thing on. I have no clue why we decided to fire up these hot logs on the hottest day of the summer so far. It's 35 degrees Celsius here, and I think we only have one choice, honey. I think it's time to do a flame montage. I'm sweaty, the grill is hot and sweaty. Flame montage. Let's go. Yeah. We're getting a little dark on the one side there, so we're just gonna rotate this wheel. Normally it takes a lot of fuel to be able to get our smoking area up to this temperature. So again, we only have two logs in the firebox and that heat is reaching all the way across and up to here and up to get this to 350. That's crazy. I just like, it's been 20 minutes and our potato pizza is cooked to smoky, crunchy perfection. Now that our first cook with the Jealous Devil Blocks fire logs has come to an end, it's time to dive in to what we liked about them and what we thought could be improved on. So the first thing is that they ignited extremely quickly. I was super impressed with that. Normally we use wood, we use naturally seasoned wood, and it takes a little bit of time for them to get lit, we're gonna be honest. Normally when we cook pizzas in our offset smoker, it does take some time to get those logs lit. We're super excited to see that it's true. Everybody says these light super fast and they do. One thing we really liked about these logs is that they burn super hot. Unlike what it said on the package, we didn't really follow the instructions, we only used two instead of doing that Jenga method. And still, two got our offset smoker insanely, insanely hot. I wanted to start off with four. Thank goodness I listened to Kiki and we went with two. And can we just go over that fire montage? That was super fun. These things, if you ever want to do a fire montage, these are the things to do it with. Maybe don't do it when it's on a day that it's this hot. This is a little bit sweaty, guys. Another thing we really liked about these Jealous Devil Blocks fire logs is that they did really produce a lot less smoke. So that also helped with making the cooking process quicker because any offset smoker owners out there know that it takes a lot to get the actual rig fired up. Because this didn't have a lot of smoke to burn off, you we were basically able to get this pizza right onto the grill. When it comes to sparking, these logs did not produce any sparks whatsoever. I can't believe that because I thought these were gonna act like lump, and lump is known to spark a little bit. There was no crackling, no sparking, no popping. There was absolutely no sound from this at all. Anybody who owns an offset smoker knows that logs take up 
a lot of room. These things are compact, they're smooth, they're not that messy. I kind of like that. And they do take up a lot less space. They're very, very tiny and they do, you can stack them up very easily. They fit into a perfect square that you can tuck off into a corner. Unlike, like Maddie said, logs, that does, they're all misshapen sizes and you kind of have to have an area for them specific for your wood. These are pretty cool. And look, no splinters. I hate getting splinters. Don't you guys agree with that splinters and logs? It goes hand in hand. These, not so much. To purchase 12 of these, it costs us about $30, which is an extremely fair price to us. These will last a while. Again, we cannot believe how hot these got our offset smoker. We will definitely be purchasing these again. We love them. I think you guys are getting that from our enthusiasm here. However, we always like to point out something that could be improved on when we're doing reviews. The only thing that we think that could benefit from maybe a little bit of adjustment is we think that these would be better if they were maybe cut in half or maybe like three quarters. They were a little bit big. So they didn't fit right into our firebox perfectly flat, so we couldn't really do that Jenga thing. So we think if it was cut in half, that might be a little bit better for users who maybe have a smaller grill than ours even. And so I just think that's one thing that it could be improved on. And then if they were smaller pieces too, you could govern how many pieces you wanted to add instead of having to commit to an entire log. Yes, because this is big. We This is our first cook. I'm actually excited to see if, are we going to be able to reignite this after we've already used it? Because we just shut down the smoker, it didn't burn through all the way, so next time we fire it up, I'm gonna see, is this going to reignite? That's a very good question. And also on the point of being, them being smaller sizes, if they were smaller, you could do the Jenga thing, but only using, say, two of them. Yes. Okay, the one thing we do need to try, though, is if the pizza tastes smoky, and if these logs are gonna give it that classic wood-fired smoky flavor. Exactly, because when it comes to grilling, yeah, the process is fun, but we do it because the food tastes good too. Okay, let's dive into this pizza. Take a look at that, cooked to perfection, nice and crunchy on the outside. So fluffy. Nice and pillowy and fluffy. Okay, I'm gonna do the honors, honey. I'm sorry, I gotta you test go this for one. It first. You I go gotta for test it first. this one. Perfect amount of smoke. Mm, still is smoky. Even though the smoke wasn't flowing around, it is still smoky. Incredible flavor. I was also astounded at the speed in which that cooked. Mm -hmm. This thing was on for 20 minutes and then it was done. That's how you want your pizza to cook. You don't want to do a low and slow pizza at all. Mm, this tastes so good, it makes me feel like that. Let's go. Thanks for watching, Barbecue Family. And don't forget, you're invited to our barbecue live stream. We're always growing up some